Yeah, sure. Hi, Graham. Are you OK? Hi, Jeremy. Yeah, um, Graham, um, you had some early chances there, but then the roof fell in in a spectacular fashion, three goals in 17 minutes. I mean, how do you account for what went on in that first half? Yeah, it was uh, frustrating. I, I think, um, like you say, we, I think we started quite well. Uh, I think we had two or three really good chances. Looked dangerous on the break and had, had some opportunities ourselves. And then um, whether the first goal took the, took the wind out of us a little bit too, too quickly, too easily. Um, I'll have to look at it back. I think the second goal it, it is from, from a, a quick attack from our sort of giveaway. Jamie Vardy is obviously lethal in those situations. Uh, and, and then and then Madison's quality for the third. So that's life in the Premier League sometimes. If you're not good in the opposition are, you can be uh, on the other end on the other end of the scoreline. So pleased that the players kept going because um, it could have been a, obviously a more difficult evening than it was already. But um, over the 90 minutes, we have no complaints with the results. And they switched uh, Justin and Albrighton. How much uh, problems did Justin give uh, Dan Byrne down your left-hand side, do you think? Well, yeah, they've got some good players and um, I thought we posed some problems and, and, they, and they did. That's the nature of football. They've got some good players. Um, we, we, we put Solly and, and Ali over there as well, but, but yeah, they, they just were a little bit too good for us. Can you give us any more on the Lamptey injury, uh, Graham? And is he going to be OK for Fulham? We'll see. I mean, it was um, just probably this one came a bit too soon. We wanted to make sure he was fully recovered. He was just feeling a bit of a sensation in his hamstring. So, probably heard on the side of the caution because of the nature of it, but um, we're hopeful for Wednesday. And that Fulham game now becomes massive. They've got a point today. Obviously, a Burnley have won tonight. I mean, looking at the table now, I mean, how concerned are you? Well, we, we know that it's um, you're fighting for points in the Premier League, and we know that. that uh, it, how tough it is and, and there's no getting away from that we have to keep fighting which we will um, and, and trying to improve the, the, the points tally that we have uh, performances have been generally okay tonight's a sore one for us we have to recover and regroup and get ready for Wednesday thanks Graham cheers, cheers. Aaron Howard next? yeah uh, hello thanks Paul H- hi Graham hi Darren but what's the uh, the, the team lineup and the selection? Was was how much of that had to do with Fulham in mind on on Wednesday, likes of Dan Byrne and Tarek Lamptey? No, nothing at all. Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Um, Tarek was was not available for the game. He's going to feel his hamstring. Uh, Adam Webster also has had a bit of a a, a niggling groin issue as well. So. Um, Felt that it wasn't it come a bit too soon for him the game, so it was the game the team we wanted to play to to try to get a result at, at Leicester. No thought for Fulham. Yeah, and um, were you a bit disappointed with the performance out of possession today? Uh, did Leicester perhaps have too much time on the ball? Well, they've got they've got some good players and um, and uh, they don't make it easy for you. They keep the ball well. Uh, they're they're a top top side, I, I would say. I thought we we cause our cause them problems ourselves, but yeah, defensively I think we can in, we can improve because clearly we've just lost the game three 0 so we have to look at that. Um, I think in both boxes we they were better than us. Um, I thought we had some chances at the start of the game, but we didn't take ours, and they were they they did with theirs, and um, that's something we have to improve. Yeah, I imagine the players will be really eager to put that right again on on Wednesday. Yeah, they're, they're disappointed. We're we're hurt because it's not a not a nice scoreline, not a nice result. But again, um, sometimes that happens in this league. You have to. It's about how you bounce back. It's how about about how you recover. It's about how you show uh, your resilience in the next match. Thanks, Greg. Cheers, Cheers Darren. Uh, Richie next. Uh, hi, Graham. Sorry about the loss. Hi, Richie. Uh, just want to ask: Do you think um, the second goal was offside or not? I've not, I've not seen it. I've not seen it back. Um, I think it was tight by all accounts, but there's nothing we can do. Um, do you think uh, you you missed uh, Adam Nalala today? Do you think his creativity might have been a, a boost? Uh, you're always going to miss somebody of Adam's, you know, Adam's quality, but. Um, you know, it's up to the other guys to, to fill those spaces that, that, that they want to play. And um, I thought we, like I said, I thought we 
before they scored, we had some good opportunities, probably two or three good opportunities ourselves to score. So I'm not sure that was necessarily the, the issue, but clearly if you don't, if you def, if you can see three goals, it's hard to win all matches, and that's that was the the, the main factor. Final one from me, sorry. How important are these next two games, obviously against Fulham and, and Sheffield United, are teams a little bit lower than you guys? Well, they're, they're always important. The next match is always important. It's the Premier League, you know, it's we, we, we need to fight for fight for it. We need to show resilience, show togetherness, respond from this setback, respond from this disappointment, and um, and go to the next match, which is which is of course important. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Brian Owen. Evening, Graham. Hi, Brian. Hi, just the one from me for now. Just wonder what you can say to the team after that end of the first half at half time and what you can then get out of the second half. Well, I think it's about how you how you respond to the, the fact that we're we're three 0 down. It's about how you react to that. You can't feel sorry for yourself. We've got to we've got to go out and play a second half. Uh, I thought they did. I thought they showed good good uh, togetherness in the second half. They pushed and pushed, but um, you know the opponent was good too good on the night. But that was a, the the pleasing aspect, I guess, that we that we kept going. Okay. Thanks, Graham. Cheers. Andy. Yeah, hi, Graham. Similarly, just one from me, really. Um, Alan Shearer was was mentioning on a sort of post-match summarising on the TV coverage that he was disappointed by, if you like, the way the response to going 1-0 behind, that he didn't really see much from that point on. Obviously, you had the Danny Welbeck chance before that. But any any thoughts on, on that and whether you saw enough or, or whether that kind of seemed a real setback that they didn't really cope with conceding the first goal. No, but we've got to we've got to do better. That's uh, you know that's uh, I think that's a fact. I think you're gonna you're gonna know that in some games in the Premier League you're gonna go goal down, especially away from home. And even at home you can go goal down. It's that's football. So it's about how you respond to that. And um, it wasn't from a lack of, of effort. I don't think. I think the second goal we probably we, we gave the ball away and it was a quick attack and pretty quickly it, it's a two 0 the scoreline can affect you, but it's something that we have to do do better with ourselves. That's um, that's something that we 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 need to we need to improve. Okay, thanks, Graham. Cheers, Andy. Right, thanks everyone. Cheers. Bye.